Now, see if you can animate me kind of coming through a portal here. Let me let me try this out real quick. Hold on. Ooh, wow. Oh, hi guys. Top Hops here, and today we are going to be opening up the GameStop exclusive Rick and Morty collector's box. So let's get started. All right, guys, so let me just set down my portal gun right here real quick, and uh, we are going to be opening this up. So this is the only at GameStop Rick and Morty collector's box, like I just mentioned. This retails for $29.99, and um, inside of here, there's five different things. There's a pocket pop, two pops, two three-inch pops, and then some other fun stuff, which I'll be showing you in a second, but they're not... Funko things like that they normally make. Well, well, I'll show you what I mean in a second because it's they're they're kind of weird, but they're really funny if you guys have seen the Rick and Morty episodes. So I left the wrapping on the outside of here. This has kind of been shrink wrapped on there, if you guys know what I mean. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that this is a fresh box. I don't want to make it look like you know I've tampered with it. I mean I I'm pretty sure every box is exactly the same, so I'm not really worried about that. But uh, here it is right here, guys. If you want to see the top of the box first as well, these just came out to GameStop. You guys can buy them on their website or you can get them in stores now. That's where I got mine. I got mine in yesterday's Pop Hunt, so there's the only at GameStop. There is the Rick and Morty. And then you guys can see here, it is a five-piece box. It says right down there in the bottom there. It does say Rick and Morty, and then it's got Rick and Morty there. So this is pretty cool. I'm excited to open this up. This box actually has some really great art. This will be nice for me to kind of keep stuff, and it'll be a good box to put stuff inside of. That's what I usually do with the Funko ones anyways. Um, I put things inside of them because it's, it's really nice and it's useful because they have thick boxes when it comes to these collector ones. Anyways, let's get into here, and let's get started with the first thing here. Okay, so I have a couple things inside of here. Let's start with the... Hmm, let's start with the Pocket Pop. Okay, because that's kind of the smallest thing in here, the most the different thing, that is for sure. Um, so this is it right here. So this is the Pocket Pop keychain. It looks pretty good, it's got a decent box. As you guys know, I love my Pocket Pops, and I've been collecting as many as I possibly can. And um, we kind of get all the cool ones, so this is a neat one that I can have for the collection. So this is the Pocket Pop keychain, the Rick and Morty, the crown. Now, it does have something on there, which I... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be reading today because it is kind of inappropriate, but there it is right there, guys. There is the Rick and Morty crown. This is the one that Rick wears in the episode. I believe it's episode four from season four, if I'm not mistaken. Episode three or four. It's the one where Rick... Um, finds out that somebody sat on his toilet and needs to find out who did it. So that's kind of what this whole box is based around. And I think it's actually really funny that Funko kind of took this whole episode and turned it into this huge thing because there's a lot going on with this one and very detailed stuff within these characters and other stuff that they put inside here. So let's get on to the next thing here. Um, you know, let's do the two things that I haven't told you about yet because I want to save the pops till last because they're pretty neat. So let's start with this one here. So this right here is the next thing. I'm probably going to be keeping this in the box, but I'll take it out to show you guys today because it's pretty neat what it is. And I'm, I'm not going to be using this, that's for sure. I want to keep this because it's, it's kind of funny. So here it is right here, guys. This is a roll of toilet paper inside of here. You guys can see um, it is the Rick and Morty roll of toilet paper. So there's the top, there's the front. You guys can see the toilet paper there. There it is in the back. And there's this side here as well. Now, if you guys are wondering, it's because of the whole toilet episode um, and someone sitting on his toilet that, that they made this toilet paper. Let me see if I can pop this out and show you guys. Okay, here it is. I mean, to be honest, it really is just a roll of toilet paper. Um, and yeah, we are going to be keeping it inside of here. I'm not going to take it out because it's, it's too funny to take out. But on here, it has Rick's head and that's it. It's just like a monotone shot of Rick's head and then the same crown that he wore throughout the, uh, well, that he wore at the end of the episode because he used the toilet and then the whole thing. I don't want to spoil the episode, um, but you'll probably get spoiled with the rest of the stuff in here. So there's the one thing, guys, the toilet paper. It seems pretty good. I think it's a two-ply toilet paper. It's nothing cheap here. We're not going, uh, you know, we're not great value over here. But anyways, guys, there is the first one right there, the toilet paper. That's pretty neat. So there's that. Uh, I'm, I don't really know how to explain toilet paper, to be honest. You guys can tell I'm struggling with it because I've never reviewed a roll of toilet paper before. But we do have this next thing that I think is pretty cool. And this one I'm probably going to take out and try out. Um, so this right here is the whoopee cushion that comes inside of it. And this is the same one. It's pretty much just has Rick's face on it again. So there is the same shot of Rick's face. And then on this side, it says the same thing that the other stuff is all said, what's on the crown. So let's pop this out and let's test it out because I kind of want to see what this sounds like. This is something that I'm probably going to be keeping and, you know, using in different videos and stuff like that. Plus, it does come with one of those kind of easy seal if you guys want to put them back in after. But let's test this out. You guys know it's a whoopee cushion in case you guys are wondering. And if you've never seen one of these before, because I actually haven't used one of these in years. I don't remember the last time I used one. So let's just show you guys what it does. That's about it. Hold on, let me try again. 
That's better. Okay, hold on. Let me test it out. Like, let's really test it out. So this is what would happen, guys. Say you have a friend, and uh, you know this is their chair, and you're gonna sit down on it. You're you're waiting for them to sit down on it. You're not gonna sit down. You don't want to embarrass yourself. You know what I mean? So here we go. Here goes. You know I'm an unsuspecting, un, unsuspected. I don't know. Um, I don't know that it's there. I'm gonna sit down on it, you know. Hey guys, how's it going? That wasn't me. See, it works a lot better when you sit on it. King of comedy. Top pops. I think it's the weight that actually helps. So, there it is. If you're squishing it with your hands, Anyways, guys, there is the whoopee cushion. I think it's funny. We'll have to use this in other videos and stuff like that. Actually, hold on. Let's get my dad. Hey, dad. What? Could you come here for a second? Why? Um, I, I have an, I got, we got to show you something that's in the box. Can you, can you come here for a second? Why? We're going to test it on him. Uh, we have to, oh, I wanted to show you uh, something inside of here. Okay, let me hide it on the chair. Hold on, he's coming. Here, take a seat in the chair. We wanted to show you something inside the box. Oh my, what could be on the chair? I don't think he knows. Okay, um, here. Nothing here. Here, ch check this out. Come sit down and check this out. Plain white chair. Yes. Uh, well, no, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> that is just sad. Check it out. Check it out. Aha! Hey, we got him. Look at that. King of comedy. Top pops. Sad. Yeah. We haven't shown off what's in the box yet, but that is pretty cool. This though. I gotta use. Whoa, 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 da, 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 da. Jeez, this is a collectible. That's a question for it. I think, we, hey guys, anyways, I think we got them. Anyways, guys, if you want to get this whoopee cushion for 30 bucks, just get it inside of this mystery box right here. So let's put this back in and let's get onto the two pops because that's probably why you guys are here. But uh, I do think we got them pretty good there. He, he, he was, he didn't know what any, he, never mind. Okay. Yikes. Okay, so let's get into this here. Uh, let's show off the last two things. So the last two things inside of here are pops. And uh, let's start with the, let's start with the less known one, I guess you could say. So here we have here, guys, this is Tony. Um, and this is Tony from the same episode. This is the one that sits on the toilet. He's the one that kind of, uh, you know, gets them. So there it is right here, guys. So this is the Tony Funko Pop. This is, of course, the guy that sits on the toilet. You know, he's just a normal guy. He finds the toilet and he sits on it. I forget what the sandwich has to do with it. I think it, it for sure has something to do with the episode. I can't remember exactly. Maybe that's what Rick finds on the ground that lets him lead to him finding out that he sat on the toilet. I don't remember exactly. But anyways, it's a really funny episode. If you guys haven't checked it out I recommend it I don't exactly know what episode this is from it might say on the bottom it just says no it just says Tony sometimes they'll put the episode number depending on what it is but there it is right there guys uh, this is Tony from Rick and Morty season 4 now let's check out the last thing here which is a pretty cool figure so this is actually a really tall figure as well I wonder if this is the tallest three inch Funko Pop we'll have to check that but this is the Rick with crown um, <laughs> with the same thing on his hat I'm not gonna say it again just because you know but there is Rick with crown guys really excited about this one this one also does come with a stand. I think Tony does as well. Yeah, they both come with stands, so if their feet are a little wobbly because Rick's head is so big on this one, um, it's good that they come with that. So let's check this out, actually. Yeah, he's literally touching the bottom. I wonder if he's bang... Yeah, this is really close. I don't know. This could be the tallest pop, um, or three-inch figure, at least. So let's check this out here. I don't think it is. But yeah, this is really cool. So there is another version of this one coming soon where it's Rick sitting on the toilet, and it's got sound effects. It's like $25 at GameStop, if I'm not mistaken. So that'll be fun to pick up. We're going to be doing a review on that one when that comes in. Um, it should be, I think, next week or the week after because everything from that series has come out so far except for that one. So that's exciting. Anyways, guys, there is the Rick right there. I think it's really funny. Um, it's a pretty cool figure. Anyways, guys, overall... Um, that's the entire box for $30. I think it's completely worth it because you're getting two pops and it, with those pops It's like that's normally at there. It would be like $24 I think it is for two pops um, If you were to buy just those ones because they're $11.99 So it's like, you know 12 bucks each so this right here is $24 and then you're getting the pocket pop Which is sometimes like six bucks and then I don't I don't know what to price out toilet paper and whoopee cushions at But I'm sure it comes out to be about worth it when you're buying this stuff You know it comes out to about $30 maybe like 35 I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hold on. Where'd the toilet paper go? 
Dad, did you take my toilet paper?